925, 926. This is game two of today's doubleheader between the Pirates and the Tigers. The Pirates and Paul Skeens are at minus 132. Undecided for the Tigers right now is what I have. I don't know if you guys have anything else on that, but it's game two at plus 122, total of seven and a half, with some juice to the under at minus 120. Kenny, let's start with you. Uh, did you, am I wrong? I don't have anyone listed for game two for the Tigers. Uh, I know Scooball's pitching game one with Jared Jones, but I don't have anyone for game two for the Tigers. But your play doesn't care about that, anyways, does it? Does not know. I'm seeing K Montero. I actually have no idea who no. this is. Couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna break some news here, right? There's this young up and coming uh, pitcher that no one knows about, no one's ever heard of before. Uh, really under the radar guy named Paul Skeens. No, he's not under the radar. Everyone knows Skeens. Uh, for me, it's just it, it, I, I've made the rule at least for the first couple of games here. Like if I'm getting plus money for eight Ks, I'm probably just gonna take it in, until he shows me that he can't consistently get there. Uh, he had seven first game, 11, 11 second game, and then he had. He only had three last game. Just he burned he, us. We all he took burned it. I, I, I know we, we took. We, I know you guys had him last game, it, it, dude. It felt like he had like a billion two strike counts, and the, the Giants were just were just really just hitting him well, putting the ball in play. He still went six innings, gave up one run, pitched really really well. He just couldn't get some of those punch out pitches. Um, it also looks like the Giants were being a little more patient up at the plate too. Like I feel like he got he was behind in the count a good amount throughout that game. It was sort of battling. Um, I like the matchup today a lot better against against Detroit. Second leg of the doubleheader, so depending on on how like, the first game shakes out, I mean, I think he's, you could expect a pretty solid leash from him. Um, and again, if he, if I'm going to get plus money uh, for you know over seven and a half Ks, that just feels like a number that I'm probably going to play consistently. I think in, in, until until we see him put up a couple of duds in a row. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna ride schemes here, um, and I may even fire like him to strike out twelve just for for some juice. Yeah, and I, I do see a Kiter Montero now. And then I see one message here, Skeens Scooball game two. That's not what I have. I have Skeens versus Montero game two and Jared Jones Jared Jones and Scooball in game one. But again, we've seen this get funky with double headers before. So keep an eye. But Kenny's let taking the over, excuse me, what was the strikeouts again? Six and seven and a half Ks at plus one twenty. What do you think, Corby, on this one? I Look, I love the Paul Skeen strikeouts, but he burned. I mean, he really burned us. He didn't even come close. It was dead in the water, you know, by the third inning. Yeah, I, I blame myself on that one. That is uh, the middle of my losing streak. We, we got a Paul Skeens. Paul Skeens has pitched three times now. I have bet an, an under, an under, and an over. He has went over, over, under. So, right off this one. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I, I fully agree with Kenny. Like, if I was to bet this, I kind of talked about it in the last show, and I still agree. Like, he had a really crappy setup for the first game. Uh, it was raining. It was going to rain in the fifth inning. Still went over strikeout prop. Second game, he had to play the exact same team, which is always tough. The ump had the worst called umpiring game of the season. He still went over strikeout prop. Game three, I bet on him. That's worse than any weather delay. Uh, so it didn't go over strikeout prop. And now you see a team in Detroit who, uh, Kenny brings a good point, like, if this plays out in a specific way, like, Paul Skins could go 100 pitches. He went 93 pitches in his last game. I think he has the stuff the biggest difference I've noticed in him is he stopped throwing his fastball as much last game through 38 fastballs, 37 splitter, which is a tough mix. Like if you're throwing 101 to basically 92, you're going to get a lot of people fooled. Uh, he just needs to get in those two strike counts, which as Kenny brought up, like he struggled at times and, and he would give up some, um, some easy balls to kind of put him in a bad situation. And, and then he's forced to throw something down the heart of the plate. So I think he's pretty fine. Seven and a half seems a number. You're not going to get much longer, especially at plus money. So I like it. And for the sake of Kenny, I am not betting it. Yeah, yeah, we won't we won't jinx your Paul Skeens play today. We're gonna let uh, Kenny's got a big day planned, right? Those tips are getting a little on frosty, so we got to get those done today, right? Yes, keep sir. the wife on edge. Keep the wife on. How excited is the wife that you're getting him refrosted? Ecstatic. Today? She, absolutely she's ecstatic. ecstatic. <laughs> absolutely ecstatic. Things are going great in the McAndrews household. For purposes of the show, we're gonna keep things rolling over there. We're gonna take Paul Skeens over seven and a half Ks for Kenny, and that's sitting at plus. 120. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I thought this card was pretty tough, if I'm being honest. As I went game to game, I, I thought it was really hard for me to find kind of like an edge I wanted. 